Second Chronicles 10, 9 through 8 through 9. But he abandoned the counsel of men which he had which had given him, which was listen to them, and they'll serve you. And he took counsel with the young men he had grown up with who stood before him. So these are his friends, his peers, possibly people that would tell him what he wants to hear, people that build him up. People who may have been sucking up to him because they thought he'd be king one day. Maybe. For a while that old men were wise and we don't got much long to live. Whether you be a good king or not, it really don't matter to us. But this is what we do. So these would be like, okay, if you just, how, how could this be? Uh, so we see that may have been a factor with this. The fact that these men wanted to prosper, and uh, well, we also see a division with wisdom and foolishness. They are not always measured by years, but years help, experience help, because you can have a foolish old man, and you can have somebody who's not too old but wise because God sent them brought them through a lot of struggles and trials and they rely on him. Verse nine. He said to them, What counsel do you give? First off, him seeking other counsels kinda of shows that he was seeking until he found the advice he wanted to hear. And truth's absolute. Although you can find many various different forms of what's so-called truth. There's only one real truth. And we can look somewhere else to find answers we may like. But that doesn't make it true. Many people look for the answers they want. And they follow a lot. Um... That we may give an answer to the people who have spoken to me, saying, Make the yoke of your father put on us lighter. The wisest thing he is doing is actually going to give these people a response. Because one attribute was ignore it and let them decide what they're going to do on their own. But honestly, it wasn't something he could ignore. Because if, if he left that burden there, then that was a response. It showed that the people weren't worthy of an answer. If he took the burden up, it shows, okay, I'm going to do this, but who am I to answer to you? So not answering would have caused even further problems. Sometimes we have to answer for things. We need to be ready. We need to seek God. We need to follow his guidance for the answer. Stay in wisdom.